Hey friend, welcome or welcome back to my Amazon Live. If we haven't met before, my name is Megan. I blog at honeywerehome.com. I love sharing fashion, fitness, home decor, productivity, life with two little kiddos. We are out of school for summer, so it's been like a little bit challenging getting into the new routine and the swing of things, but I'm so excited for today's Amazon Live. It's featuring all Amazon home decor. I have so many Amazon decor pieces in my home. When I looked around, I have furniture, I have art, I have blankets, I have pillows, I have faux flowers, just so many things I'm so excited to share with you. Everything looks very high end, but it's also really inexpensive. So Rhonda is joining me here as always. She, Hi. how's your summer off to? Oh, it's busy, it's really busy. <laughs> It's like, this is the time we're supposed to slow down. It does not feel like that. Not when the kids are home, because it's just like you work, and then you want to be home with them, and it just never stops. And then I think that's the thing. Like, you're busier because you're trying to keep them ocup occupied and do yes. things with them, and yes. it never ends, right? It never ends. Countdown to school starts, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. So Rhonda will be popping in videos and photos. Obviously, I couldn't bring like all my furniture up here to show you, but we do have photos and videos. You can always shop everything in the carousel down below. And if you have any questions, just send me a chat and we can talk in real time and I can answer you. And thank you in advance for following me. Y'all have helped me grow this channel to over 100,000 subscribers. So I really appreciate that. So let's just jump right into the bedroom. And the first thing I want to show you is the drapes that I've got on Amazon that are so luxe, so beautiful, so gorgeous, so high end, so high quality. And let me tell you, I searched and searched and searched and did so much research before buying this particular set of drapes. And I am so pleased with them. I thought they might be a little bit pricey, but when I compared them to other brands, other retailers, I found that they were actually very reasonably priced, especially for the quality. So I put them in my bedroom. I've been in this home for just over a year. I have four windows in my bedroom and they get a lot of natural light, which is wonderful, but there is a roller shade and the light kind of tends to seep in on the sides. Plus I wanted some drapes to really draw your eye up and just, you know, make a beautiful soft statement in the room. So the curtain rod, the drapes, the rings, and the little hooks are all from Amazon. You can see Rhonda's putting up video right here. My boyfriend helped me hang them and they were really easy to hang. So let me tell you, when these drapes arrive, they are packaged beautifully. They're just really well made. The, the texture on them is really, really gorgeous and they're heavy. They have a really nice weight to them. So I've hung them on a very beautiful gold rod and we actually put one more bracket at the middle because once all four of them were up there and hanging, it started to like just sad, just a tad the rod. So we had to put an extra reinforcement rod in there. But a little designer trick I can tell you is once you have your drapes hung and put where you wanted, the, what, the reason why you're seeing that ribbon tied around them is because you're training the pleats to lay exactly how you want them. And so basically Rhonda and I, we just tied a ribbon around the drapes once we had them all pleated perfectly and then let them kind of settle into that shape for a couple of days and then just untied the ribbon. I also got drapes that were a little bit longer and then trimmed them myself. You better believe I was so nervous just cutting them with the scissors, but I just used the um, heated hem tape that you just iron right on and it came out beautifully. It was a little bit of a job, but I'm really, really happy with the result. Another great thing about these drapes is you can order a swatch. So if you're not really sure what color you want, you can order like the swatch booklet and you can see ahead of time what they're gonna look like in person. I, I feel like I did that early on and then I got rid of it and then I just kind of went on instinct and you know, I love the color I got. Did it say, I think it was said beige something? Um, you got beige white. Mine are beige white, which is a soft white, like a soft creamy white. I didn't want anything that would be too stark 
If you have any questions about the drapes, just leave me a chat and we can talk about it. But I'm so incredibly pleased with the quality and material and the shipping and everything with these drapes. They are absolutely beautiful and so luxe and gorgeous. Okay, let's move on to the bedroom rug. So I actually do not have this rug anymore. My adorable puppy pooped on it. <laughs> it was a rainy day and he just wouldn't go outside and it was like way too much to clean up. It was, you know, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about the gorgeous rug. So when I first got this rug, I put it in my daughter's playroom and it looks so beautiful there and it's so soft underfoot and the design on it is really kind of minimal. I feel like it looks great with so many different styles of decor and I loved it so much that I actually put it in my bedroom. I had it in my bedroom at my old house and then brought it over here in bedroom in the new house. I'm currently trying to decide should I get the exact same one or something different so I have not yet pulled the trigger but this rug is absolutely beautiful and so soft underfoot and it's been easy to clean for the most part like if I had my dog had like a wet accident or something that I could clean up but runny stuff was just not gonna happen so but the rug itself is absolutely beautiful highly recommend the rug so another thing that i like to do for decor is add a bench at the end of the bed and i got my bench on amazon i'm really happy with the quality it's an upholstered bench with wooden legs it comes in different colors i went with the gray to coordinate with my decor but you can get whatever color best matches your own decor and then the legs are like a wooden leg with just a little bit of a design to kind of give you that elevated feel. And just having a bench at the end of your bed, it just gives you like a nice completed design, but it's also functional because you can sit there and put your shoes on or, you know, layer things on there as you're getting ready, you know, put a book or what have you. But I feel like the design is so pretty. The, the gray color is a really nice true gray. It's not too purple. It's not too blue. And the leg detail is a really nice quality. I want to say I, as far as assembly goes, I think I had to screw on the legs. Um, but that was it. Looks like it's also on sale and with a coupon right now. Okay, so moving on to a few more decor pieces I have in the bedroom. Let's talk like um, bedside table. And so I really like to have a tray on my bedside table to just kind of put things, corral things a little bit easier and just make everything look a little bit more intentional and styled. So y'all, look at this tray. I love the unique shape of it. Plus it has these lucite and gold handles, so it's absolutely gorgeous. I have this on my nightstand and I just put, you know, my Bible, my lip mask that I use every night, sometimes a pen, maybe a coaster for a drink, something like that, but it's really beautiful. It has like, can you see the texture on it? It's absolutely stunning in person and it looks so high end with the curve here so very happy with this also it's a pale pale blue the color is really really pretty and i think it goes with a lot of decor styles especially if you have like a coastal element or something like that in your home if you like that kind of design i think you'll really be happy with this but you know trays can go anywhere in your house and i do have them scattered throughout the kitchen the living room the dining room the bathroom another one that's been a great find is this one that's just a modern you know minimal shape again with the gold handle and it's like this square design so it's really kind of sleek and minimal very pretty kind of has a, like a almost like a subtle snakeskin um feel to it this one is less expensive than the other one but this one's great too. You know, sometimes I'll put my makeup products on here if I want to have it in the bathroom, but it makes a great backdrop for your decor. You can put books on it, candles, what have you. And everything just looks a little more collected, a little more elevated when you have it on a tray. Now in the same vein, I've styled my console table with a few things that are really beautiful. And the first one being these decorative boxes. So these are also in that same kind of like snakeskin faux, you know, snakeskin um, print with 
really sleek gold handles and they are functional as well. You actually get a set of three of these for $89, which is a great deal because you get three. The only one I'm missing right now is the smaller one that would fit on top. So you can stack them all together. You can split them up around the house um, and you can make them functional. So like, for instance, if you had this in your living room, you could hide your remote controls, pens, pencils, what have you. And then the bigger one is a really nice size. And they look great on a bookshelf, an end table, a nightstand, something like that. On mine, I think I have some candles. Also on that um, table, I have a big vase with faux florals. And this faux floral stem looks so beautiful. You can see it in the photo here. It's very plush, very whimsical, and it's a cherry blossom. So I just have several in the vase and it just makes such a beautiful statement in the room. You can bend the end of the um, stem here to fit your particular vase. And I just love how lush they look, just really pretty and they come in other colors as well. But I've had these like in all different rooms of the house because I like them so, so much. I just think they're so beautiful in person. Okay. Let's see, what should we talk about next? We are still, let me show you these other decorative boxes while we're kind of on the subject of boxes. These are a, a set of two that I'm absolutely crazy for. You may have heard me talking about them in the past. So they're this wicker design that is so beautiful, if you can see that. And then they have a glass lid. So they look very high end very expensive but they're under a hundred dollars for the pair and again they're very functional because you can kind of hide the things that you don't want to be seen in here like um use it as storage like decorative storage so very high end very beautiful they have the glass lid and you get the set of two Okay, I've got so much here. Let's move into, is there anything else in the bedroom? Mm, I don't think so. Okay, let's move into the bathroom. And a couple things I have that I think are just so beautiful but also functional are these amber glass jars. I think they're so pretty and they even come with the minimal label here. So you just adhesive it on and then it's also waterproof. So it stays on perfectly. I chose, I think for this one, this might be the copper um, or bronze lid, but they come in different lids. I think I also have the matte black in the kitchen, but they come with a set of two for just under $20. So it's a great value and it just sort of elevates your bathroom or you could get the ones for the kitchen as well um, and decant your soap and your lotion and put it in these jars and it looks so beautiful. Then I have them sitting on this little wooden tray. This is from Sweetwater Decor. And you can see it's just a handmade little tray under 20 bucks and it literally fits two of these just perfectly like it was made for this. So whenever you add like something wooden like this, you get that textural element, just kind of makes your space look a little more, more warm, a little more inviting and lived in. So I do like to add different textures like with wood and things like that, different kind of elements and that really elevates your space. Catherine Hill is saying hi. Hey Catherine, thank you for being here. If you're just joining me, I would love for you to hit the follow button so I can give you a shout out as well. Catherine, where are you from? We are here in Houston and it is getting hot, let me tell so you. Hot, so hot, muggy, hot, mosquito bill. A hundred percent. Okay, so also in the bathroom, let me share with you my trash can. Now you might not think of a trash can as like a decor piece, but look at how beautiful this one is with the fluting, the white and gold. And I like it so much you can see Rhonda showing you a video of the smaller one that I have in my bathroom um, downstairs. So I like that one so much, but I wanted a bigger one for my primary bathroom. So I got this one that is a bigger size. This one is the square 
the one I have down in the um, half bath is like a little rectangle. So the cool thing about this is you put batteries in it, which I need to actually change the batteries, but all you do is put your hand over, like you can see in the video, and then the lid pops up. So you never have to actually like touch it or step on anything. It opens automatically just with the motion of your hand. And then the trash can, the actual bag is stored underneath. So you never see it like hanging out the front. So as far as trash cans go, I think this is a really beautiful one that looks really gorgeous in your space. I've been really pleased with it. Um, you do have to charge, you know, change the batteries every so often. Um, but without the batteries, you can just lift it up like so. Um, and this one holds a really, you know, a good bit in this size. So Catherine's from North Carolina. Oh, North Carolina. That's awesome. That's a place I've actually wanted to visit. It's on my list. It's on my list of places to go. So also in the bathroom, I have a little vanity space and I have this ottoman here that I like to sit on. It is a um, velvet upholstered ottoman with a really pretty gold vase here. You can see it just kind of sits under there with my gold trash, gold and white trash can, but it's perfect for sitting on because it's nice and plush, but it also just looks gorgeous. So before I used to have this in my closet and I would actually use it as a step stool to step on if I needed to reach something higher. But I think this is like a beautiful decor piece. You could get it in a different color. I have it in the pink, but it comes in other colors and it makes a great little ottoman for styling in your living room, or you could add two at the end of the bed, kind of like as a bench or something like that. So I've been really pleased with the quality of that one and it's lasted me. I've had it for several years now. Um, okay, sticking with the bathroom, who doesn't love a gorgeous <laughs> Kleenex tissue box? I mean, I feel like sometimes they can be kind of hard to find. I really like this one that's like this bamboo, you know, sort of rattan one, and it basically has an open bottom, so you can just stick your whole tissue box underneath, and then it has this little square lid. So it's under $20. Oh, Rhonda's handing me a tissue box so I can may demonstrate for you. So, I mean, they do have cute designs, but you know, I don't really want to see that. So you just slip it under here like so, and then the tissue pops up the top. So I like this one because of the texture on it. I think it looks really nice, kind of coastal vibe. It's really appropriate for summer and, you know, just looks a lot better than just having that you know, cardboard box sitting on your counter. So I have this in the kitchen. I've got one in the bedrooms, you know, the bathrooms and all that. So love these. Also currently in my son's bathroom, I have these little crochet holders and I think these are so cute. The detail on them is absolutely exquisite. And then inside they have a canvas lining and I want to say you get a few in a set. I have his, um, washcloths sitting in that one right there you can see like so so you get a set of two for $28 and they are on sale but you can put whatever you want in here you could even have like your bathroom products or you can put it in the living room and put things in here it's got these little wooden roll handle it's very well made and I just think it's like this macrame that's so pretty oh look I have a wooden <laughs> See, I always decant or like cover the tissues right there. I have a wooden tissue box that you're seeing. But the, your, what you're, the video Rhonda's putting up right now is in my son's bathroom. And so he's got products in the top one and then he's got um, washcloths in the bottom one, just all kind of contained and nice and neat. And these do come in other colors as well. Okay, speaking of kiddos, let me just show you these photo frames. So every year when I get the kids um, school pictures, I like to put them in a photo frame. So these frames are so cute. They're basically these little wooden ones with very um, like a little print. So here's this one, $18. And then it just has the little stand behind it. So I have this one for James. And then this little one for Jordan. Look at how cute they are. I die. They are just two darlings. So, and then what I do is behind this photo, 
I'll have the, la the last year's picture. So we just keep replacing and then I keep these in my office. So super, super cute. Oh, okay. So also in the bathroom, I love this wooden stool. I keep this in my bathroom and then I have another um, bowl that I put on top of it with some decorative bath products. But y'all, this stool, I looked for a long time because I wanted something that was wooden, you know, that would warm up a bathroom space because, you know, in a bathroom you have a lot of ceramics and marble and tile and cold materials. So I felt like having a wooden um, bench or like a stool would be a really nice element in there. And you guys, this one is such good quality. It's handmade, reclaimed wood, and it's gorgeous. It's got a nice weight to it. This stool part is really thick. It's only $113 and it's just so beautiful. It's I've been so, so happy with this. Let me show you the top a little bit more close up if you can see that. And it's a nice size too. So very, very happy with this, especially at $113. Okay, I think we can move on into the living room. Let's show the furniture, the, um, the chair I have in my living room. This is a relatively newer piece that I got from Amazon. And sometimes when you're shopping furniture, you know, you're not sure like how it's gonna look in the space, how it's gonna fit, how it's gonna feel. And I have been so incredibly pleased with this chair. It looks so beautiful as an accent chair. I've got it in my living room but you could put it in your bedroom or something like that or an office space. So as you can see, it's an upholstered chair, but it has a cane side, um, a really beautiful light wood with wooden legs. And all I had to do was attach the legs, I believe. It's on sale for just $243. My daughter loves to sit in it. It's actually quite comfortable. I've been so pleased with it. So I was thinking of getting two, um, and maybe one for my bedroom, but for right now I just have the one and I'm so happy with it. So if you need a pair, like a set of chairs, I think this is a fantastic option. And then the pillow that I have on there is this one, this beautiful like ticking stripe pillow and it's got horizontal and vertical stripes. It's really well made. It's just a clear canvas on the back and then it has a very nice hidden zipper. <laughs> hidden so well I could barely see it, but a hidden zipper and you get a set of two for $23 or at least the square ones that I bought. This is, what size is this, Rhonda? 22 by 22. Okay, I've got a 22 <coughs> by 22. I do like to have relatively large pillows for our sofa or accent chairs because like the scale is pretty big and if you get too small of a pillow, I feel like it can look a little bit puny. So um, if I'm gonna be putting onto the couch, I usually go for at least like a 22 by 22 or 24 by 24 even. Um, and then you can layer in some smaller accent pillows if you want as well. I also have on my living room sofa this beautiful pillow that has like this um, nice design here you can see and has a gorgeous texture but it still feels nice and soft to the touch this Does one's come with inserts lucy red is asking if, the, if they were come did they come no um i bought the inserts on amazon though i don't know if we have them in the carousel no we don't have them okay they're not in the carousel but you can find really great pillow inserts on amazon this which is where i got mine um did this one come with it though this one, let's see. This one, I think this one may have come with the insert. I'm, we're looking right now to see. Um, it's but it's 24 by 24. Oh, that one says insert sold separately. Okay, insert sold like separately. Unavailable. Okay, well maybe, okay. Well, anyway, this, this pillow is from Amazon as well. We put the link in the carousel down below, but it might be unavailable right now, so you may have to check back or see if it's sold by some other sell sellers. Um, so this one does not come with the filler, the stripe. Okay. So you, typically you need to buy the pillows separately. And sometimes what I'll do is get the insert one size larger just to really fill out the pillow. And that way you can get a nice chop in the middle if you want to do that as well. So just usually go up one in size from the size of the pillow. 
Okay, so some styling in the living room and let's just start with like the couch. So I have a nice sectional couch and on the back of it, I have this gorgeous Turkish throw and I really like it just for adding a little bit of an extra layer behind the sofa. So the one I have, it has black stripes and it has tassels at the bottom, but it's incredibly well made. It would also look beautiful on the end of the bed or like draped over the sofa. Um, the back of the cushion or something like that. It's on sale. It's $54, but it's absolutely beautiful and like a really nice quality. The other blanket that I 100% recommend, and I feel like this is so soft. You may have seen this at a designer like website or retail store, but let me tell you, just get it on Amazon because it's incredibly soft and cozy and comfortable and usually right around $50 where if you were to buy it elsewhere, it would be about $180. So this one I have is like the leopard print and it's, it's two-sided and it's just beautiful. And the neutral, I feel like goes with absolutely everything. This one is a great price right now. Is it 38? Mm -hmm. $38. I've given these as gifts. They've been very well received. I've got several in the house. You just cannot go wrong with these and you can get them in several different colors. Then I have two other types of blankets that I keep on hand at all times. So one is this um, lighter weight, almost like a muslin kind of a cloth blanket, but it's not, it's like lined, it's double lined, but you see the beautiful texture on it. Plus it has this nice tassel. So I actually drape this on my light colored sofa because my dog's all over the couch and I just want to protect it. So I feel like this gives a nice texture to the couch in this light color. It kind of blends right in and it just looks beautiful. It's one of those things that's like very nice and lightweight, especially as we're in the summer months where things are getting really warm. But if you want like a little bit of a layer on you, this is a, just a nice cozy blanket to wear and also um, lightweight. But something that is a little bit thicker, and sometimes I keep this on the couch as well, but I also like it in my bedroom as a, just a blanket, a quilt on the bed, or to layer at the end of the bed just for some added di dimension and volume to your bedding. Um, it has a beautiful texture. Let me kind of open it up so you can see. So this beautiful texture comes in a ton of different colors. It's only $54 for a really big size on sale with, it looks like there is a coupon for it. So it's nice to have these extra, you know, blankets and beddings just to create a layering look or to use as cozying up with on the couch, movie nights, what have you, protecting your sofa from your pets or kids and things like that. So that's how we use these in our house. Okay, and let's go into the living room and talk styling. So I have another favorite faux flower situation happening. And that is with these gorgeous faux tulips. I have had these for years. I absolutely love them. I also have them in the pink. They are so beautiful and so realistic. They feel kind of like a rubbery feel as opposed to like that fake, plasticky, whatever <laughs> have you. And they just look so beautiful with the green leaves, how it comes like this. Plus the stems are really bendable. So you can shorten them, you can lengthen them in your vase or bend them just kind of like whatever shape you want them to be in. They're a great price because I think you get 12, 20, 20 <laughs> for $18. So such a good deal on these. And then I have them in this little cane wrapped glass vase. And Rhonda, you have this too, don't you? Yes, yes. So I had been eyeing this and eyeing this, and then she says, I have it, it's beautiful. So I'm like, okay, I'm getting it. Um, and it's really nice. It has a wider mouth. Let me show you, like so. And oh, I forgot, I put some um, tissue paper basically, some craft paper at the bottom, just so that my um, vase would be my flowers would fit in there a little higher. Here you go. But it's absolutely beautiful, very high quality. The glass is gorgeous. And um, 
I love how the tulips look, especially for summer. Just so, so beautiful, so fresh. And they look good in basically any room of your home. Also have that wall art. Okay, so another piece I couldn't bring upstairs, it's actually hanging on the wall, is this gorgeous wall art. So it's a framed art that looks like a canvas painting and the wooden frame is so pretty. So I got this in spring, but I think it carries on over into summer really well. I just have it in my entryway and I love the designs on it. It's sort of like a muted piece of art with this floral in it and the wooden frame is really beautiful. I feel like it looks really high end, but it's quite inexpensive for what you get. But you can choose from several different scenes, several different like types of settings. But I just thought that this kind of meadow was so pretty. I like the tones in it. It kind of goes with a lot of different um, decor colors. I tend to keep my things really neutral, a lot of like blacks and creams and whites and tans. But I feel like the green in this just really goes well with like the plants and kind of freshens things up. So I can definitely attest to that. And then what you saw below the art is I have a gold bar cart and I've been so crazy about this. I've had it for a few years and I decorate it for different seasons depending on like what time of year it is. So in Christmas time, I might have it with like Christmas things. In Easter, we put Easter bunnies on it and um, we put eggs. Right now, I just have like a faux plant, some glasses. You can style it a many, many different ways. You can actually use it for liquor. We don't drink too, too much. Oh, here you can see how we did it for Easter, but it's two um, tier with a glass in between each layer, two glass shelves. It's also on wheels, so it's easy to roll around and easy to transport, but the gold finish on it is absolutely beautiful. It looks really high end and very classy. It's on sale right now for $160, but I think it's one of those pieces I'm so happy that I have because it's so versatile and it's so fun to decorate for different seasons. Okay, so back into the living room. I just recently bought a big console table and I have been having fun styling it up. I usually put a vase with faux flowers on it. I like to layer books, candles, things like that. I recently got these bowls and they, I have them on the console table right now, but these are so beautiful. I think they make such a nice statement to your decor. I have them on a stack of books on the console table, but you get both of them for $44. You can stack them like so, you can separate them. Um, they're just really beautiful. You could also put them in your kitchen with some fruit. Um, I was gonna see if it said anything on the bottom. It doesn't say anything on the bottom, they just look like so, but they also have like, if you can tell, like they have these little flecked detail in there and it's really nice and just how open and kind of this like basket weave is really pretty. Are you looking for a photo? Yeah, I was trying, I thought there it is in the video. Yeah, so we've got it on the console table. I have them paired together on a stack of books right here. You can see just at the end of the um, sofa and you can see kind of peeking through that Turkish blanket on the back. So these are really nice quality there. Then for some styling elements on um, the coffee table, let me show you a few things there. So starting with, I always love to have candles. So I'm gonna show you two different um, match, you know, pretty matches. So the first one is this cloche. It's so gorgeous and I love the shape of it. It makes just a nice decor element, a little bit of added interest. It comes with these tall matches and then here is the match strike on the back. So it kind of looks delicate. It looks interesting. I've got it styled on my coffee table, um, just on a tray with some books, a candle, and actually the matches are also quite functional for lighting your candle at the end of the day. Just brings like a nice ambiance in there. Um, what you're seeing also are pieces that you want to decor, and there's one more, but this is, he comes with a little wick trimmer. This is a gold um, 
you can see here with a really pretty wick trimmer so that your candle burns nice and evenly. And then this is a candle snuffer, so you can just um, snuff the wick <laughs> like so. Um, it's $14, and these are really nice and high quality. I've also gifted these as gifts in the past. A nice, thoughtful gift for your friend that enjoys candles. Okay, and then the other little... Um, match strike jar i just think this is so cute so this whole thing is ceramic and then this is like a functional um just like i don't know how to describe it it almost feels like a sandpaper texture and then the match strike is here on the bottom i'm pretty sure you have to buy the matches separately but it's really interesting if you go on amazon you can find matches in all different colors and sizes short ones long ones and so just a nice way to light your candles. Of course, I do have the little electric one as well, but I just think these make a really pretty decor piece as well as being nice and functional. And then another little decor piece that's again functional is just this little plant mister. So cute, just styled on your bookshelf. You can see it here with the candle and those um, matches, but just really, really cute in this brass color. It looks great on your bookshelf next to a plant and then it's super handy and then you just use the little pump to spray um, the water so super cute there oh my coasters i almost forgot these marble coasters another piece that's great and also a nice um, natural element because they are marble so they're quite heavy and they just look really beautiful as decor you know we keep them on our um, dining table and also on the end tables in the living room so these are really beautiful they're really nice and heavy a great weight they'd make a really nice housewarming gift if you have someone that's just moving into a new home or something like that and they're also on sale okay what else do we have Rhonda because I'm looking around and I can't tell if I've gone through everything your or is there acrylic, a few more that your acrylic vase that you like which one's that <gasps> how could I forget this this is actually up here y'all you have to see this video that she's putting up there because I did a whole video on how to use and style this vase. So this is an acrylic vase. How cute. It's a rectangle shape and it comes with this little top that slides right in and then it has all these holes on it. So you can see the holes. So basically what you do is you pour the water into here and then you take your florals and you cut the stems very short and then because they have these holes, they stand up really nicely and full. And it makes such a beautiful centerpiece. I got this around Mother's Day and it made just such a pretty centerpiece. I used grocery store flowers. I just kind of did a combination of pink, white, and green. And I thought it looked so beautiful. Um, I think, this this one a set of two? Uh, or did I buy yes, two? two? Okay, it's a set of two. So this one, you can see it's about so long but you can put two together, which is what you're seeing in the video. And then it makes this beautiful centerpiece and it's nice and low. So it's not gonna obstruct your vision or you know your conversation with someone across the table, but it is just such a beautiful statement. Um, I need to do it again. I need to get some more flowers because I really liked having this. I just think it's so unique and so pretty and beautiful. Yeah. And you have one more rug. It was your kitchen runner rug. Oh, okay, so the kitchen runner rug. Let's not forget that one, and let me show it to you here. Amazon has some really great rugs. I was very, very happy with this one. It's a beautiful kind of like pinky neutral color. It's in my kitchen right now, so I didn't bring it upstairs, but it's really soft underfoot, and it um, comes in a ton of different sizes. The color I got is, what's the color? Uh, tangerine Mist. Tangerine Mist. I think, did I put that? My um, bathroom. You, I didn't have one in the bathroom. bathroom and your okay, the bathroom as well. I'm like, I thought that looked familiar. Yeah. Um, in the bathroom and in the kitchen downstairs, it's really beautiful. And um, I think I want to say I've had that same one, but in like a darker blue in the past. And that one was really nice too. That's it. That is it, friend. I hope you've enjoyed this Amazon home tour decor items that I have in my own home and love and personally recommend for you. Before you go, please hit the follow button so you know when I go live in the future. I go live 
every week sharing Amazon daily deals and we'll be back tomorrow at noon central time. So that's Thursday sharing the best Amazon daily deals in beauty, home decor, fashion, like all the things. So I hope you join me for that. Until then, y'all have a great day. Bye.